Hey everyone, it's Bitcoin Brian with Bitcoin Fam, and today I'm going to do a video on Dent. Dent Wireless Worldwide Mobile Data. We'll have to see what's going on with Dent. So if you could, please hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification, leave a comment. All of that will really help us out. Thanks. So before I get going with today's video, I have to put out the disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. It is my views and opinions only. So if you do decide to get involved with Dent or any other crypto, please do your own research. So let's get right into Dent and right to CoinGecko. Just give us an update on Dent. Um, the last few days, last couple of days, it's been trickling down, but um, where you can see right now, currently on the 24 hour, it's at 0.1%. But as we know, the whole crypto market has been taking a little little downturn. I think it's a, it's healthy. I think it's, you know, retesting some support levels within the network. So I think it's all good. But we're looking at Dent uh, the last 24 hours. You know, like I said, the range is kind of a tight range. It's 0 0.0013 of a cent. So 0 0.001 of a cent. So pretty much roughly, we'll call it seven and a half Dent will equal a penny. <laughs> so it's pretty cheap right now. So, like I said, uh, I, I've i had Dent for quite some time. I did buy some more uh, a couple months ago when there was another zero there. And I actually bought a little more after that third zero went away and there was a one. So, anyway, I have a nice little bag. Like I said, it's, it's probably a higher risk coin than a lot of other ones out there. It's ranked 304. So it's it's down there a little ways, you know, total market cap 129 million. So lots of room for growth there, folks, though. You know, if this 10x, that would be 1.2 billion. So there is definitely room, especially since the the total market right now is 1.73 trillion. So almost almost 1.7 almost one and three quarter trillion dollar market cap. So <laughs> Hopefully we finish out the year strong. You know, we got a couple days left before uh, 2024 starts. So as you can see, Dent's all time high was pretty much right here, 10 cents. Do a quick, some, some quick math here, just so uh, give you an idea of the potential of what Dent can do. Pull up my calculator. So we take that 10 cents and I'll divide that by it's current price of 0 0.00135301. Look at that, folks. So every $100 you'd put in, you'd get $7,390 back if it hits its all-time high. That would be a 70, almost a 74X or, wow, or 7,400% gain. That is crazy, right? So if you took, just say you put a thousand dollars into it. Like I said, I have less than 1% of my portfolio is in dent, but just say you put a thousand dollars into it. And you times that by 70, uh, 74,000, well, actually 73,900%, right? Which is gonna give us Wow, I might have did some math wrong, but that's a really big number, folks. Maybe it's seven thousand. So let's try that. That would be that would be a seven hundred and thirty nine x, not a seventy three x. So anyway, let's try that again. So if it went up seven thousand three hundred and ninety percent. Yeah, that's better. And we times that by yeah, I had one too many zeros. Some things we like to add the zeros. Some things we want the zeros to go away. That that was a hundred dollars. So if I did a thousand dollars, every thousand dollars basically would be seventy four thousand dollars. You know, so that would be a seventy four x. So if we took this, let's just do this quick math real quick, just just to put things in perspective. So if we took one hundred and twenty nine million forty three thousand seven hundred sixty seven. Oops. And we times that by the 
0.9. So that would make Dent, if it hits it all time high of 10 cents per token, it would be just under a $10 billion market cap. Can that happen? I mean, anything is possible. Do I think Dent is going to be a $10 billion market cap? If the total market cap is like $20 trillion, I, I think Dent has a possible possibility of getting to its all-time high. I think someday it may, because uh, just doing some research with them, you know, here's their site. You can go to it, check it out, dentwireless.com. A lot of good information in here. You know, they have the explore the possibilities, the setup for personal or business. Here you could go ahead and download the Dent app. You could click on here and it'll show you how it works. Um, really like the website. They've been strong since 2017. You can see their list of partners with um, their partners. I know Samsung is one of them. Oops. There we go. Laptops. Sam, Dent X and Samsung. I know they partnered with uh, the other big one they've partnered with is uh, Apple. So they're definitely in the app store for Apple. Dent and Telecom Infra Project. So, so they're they're definitely uh, to aims to reimage how to build and deploy telecom network infrastructure. So that's a big deal there. The infrastructure, what makes everything drive, makes everything work. So um, they're getting involved with the infrastructure as well. So another thing uh, that we looked at is just I wanted to do a search and find out if they're what network they use in the US because of course they're they're buying if you time or data from various cell phone companies and then they resell it just like third party the same way that like straight talk does or all these other boost mobile all these other wireless companies we have here in the USA they just purchase time off of the well, in the U.S., T-Mobile, AT&T, or Verizon, and then they just resell it. So they're using their infrastructure. So Dent in the U.S., you have the eSEMs you can get from Dent, and they use T-Mobile Network in the United States. So I wasn't sure if they were in the U.S., but I, I did find out they were, and they've been in the U.S. since 2021. So, wow, it's going to be going on three years. And then I found this other one right here, this country list. So they're in a total of like 81 countries. You can see like South America, the countries they're in there. Uh, but North America, they're in all three, you know, Canada, Mexico, and the United States. They're all over Asia. You can see all the different countries in Asia. They're all over Europe. So um, I want to say they have, they're up to like 25 or 26 million uh, customers or people that downloaded and used their, their app. So in essence, customers. So, and that's worldwide. So, and they're growing, you know, you can see Oceania, Australia, and New Zealand. So New Zealand, definitely a place I want to go check out. Been to Australia, great place. So, and then you can see all the countries in Africa. I mean, they're global. So what a great company Dent is. I really like them. And then, so, Hopefully they uh, just continue growing and gaining support and uh, driving their ecosystem. So last thing I'm going to go ahead and go through real quick is the charts. You can see uh, I'm on the eight hour candle wick. So every three wicks is a day. So you can see here, here's the 20 day moving average. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. All right. So here's the 20 day moving average. Dent's been kind of just riding along it the whole time. It did dip down a little bit here. That was, you know, a week and a half ago. But it got back up above the 20-day moving average. Had this nice increase here. Look at this candle wick. Someone probably bought a bunch that day. But what a candle wick. It almost went up to, you know, that was like over, almost. it almost, almost went up to two-tenths of a penny. So that's sizable, you know, from, let's just, just see this one wick. 
right? This one wick, that was like a 50% gain in one day, you know, but it, you know, it wicked that high, but overall it finished with a 22% gain in a day. <laughs> and then it followed it up with probably like a 10% gain. Anyway, you can see where it kind of went up and now it's went back down. It's to me, it's like a little correction going back down, testing the 20 day as support again. Let's looks like it's going to hold. I'm hoping it does and finish off the year strong. So, I'm going to go ahead and just pull up the weekly chart on this and just try to get a little more data. You can see these big wicks here to the left. This was back in July of 2022. It was up around four tenths of a penny. So we can see that went down, you know, from here, one, two three pretty much four weeks it went down you know 300 percent. or let's see well from here and it went down i mean if we go to all the way to that wick i mean that's 95 percent of its value it lost <laughs> in a matter of you know one two three weeks but if we look at the close, it's 78%. So anyway, that was a big drop. So now we can see on the long-term chart, the weekly chart, it's all green wicks. So we're right here now. You know, if we're looking at this, we got it. I'd feel comfortable if we could go ahead and start making support right around 0.0015 somewhere in there um, so i'd like to see what happens the next week or two but once we get above this spot here it looks like it might be a little bit of resistance at the 0 0.0015 area i think once we get above that we're going to see this move pretty quickly up to this range so i mean that could be a triple over the next few weeks you know probably more like a couple months but let's see we'll have to watch and see this i know i'm holding on to my dent if this dips down a little more, I might go ahead and buy a little more. You figure $100 can buy you quite a bit of dent right now at the price. You know, if you want, we could just figure that out real quick. And then, uh, let's see, if we had $100, right, and we divided that at dent's current price of 0 0 .00136. 136. I mean, look at that. $100 will buy you $73,000 plus dent. That's a lot, especially if that goes to $0.10. Cents. Say if that went to $0.10. Cents. Well, times 0 0.1, $0.10. Cents. Whew, look at that. You know, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But I really like dent. I think they're a freaking phenomenal com company. What they're doing, uh, allowing businesses and people to manage their data and go ahead and make sure that you have wi-fi and data connections when you travel abroad so anyway i wish the best for everybody have a happy new year and looking forward to great great things in 2024 take care everyone